Thank you again for your help. I suspect you have a bright future. Hogsfield. Now where to find Mrs. Bardo Beaumont should have returned by now. Had by dark wizards he was. Hello, Mrs. Sprottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh! Dear Serona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wigamold potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Brottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk lumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. Believe it or not, I have some with me. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The traveling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan Weld Potion. Serona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aidan died. He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Aidan took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Serona said she lived with you during the summers when she was at Hogwarts. What was she like? Oh, uh, 
goodness. Well, she was almost exactly like she is now. <laughs> Charming, good head on her shoulders, taking care of everyone. I can't tell you the fun we had when she and her friends would visit us during the year, all buzzing about practicing charms. Talented group. Her friend Mirabelle was a genius in the garden, learned it all from her muggle parents, if you can believe it. Do you remember anything about the letters you put in the box? Oh, of course. A few letters from some of her school friends. Some nice memories. I even included a letter Serona had written to me when she was staying with us. Thought she might enjoy reading it. I know when I read writing from my youth, I'm always astonished at how much I've changed and yet remain the same. Thank you, Mrs. Brottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk lumps. I and the vendors I help would greatly appreciate it. Shane Bardock thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. Flipendo! Accio! Flipendo! These rocks have seen better days. I shall scout around Fellcroft for something to poach. Flipendo! Flipendo! Descendo! Flipendo! Accio! Descendo! clumps to Mrs. Sprottle, but I still need to visit the cave to find Serona's box. Better have a look around. See about the hawk clumps and the box of letters. That's all the hawk clumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Either I'll have to fight that troll, or avoid it all together. Linda. Ah. 
That's all the whole clumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Hmm. Either I'll have to fight the trolls, or avoid it altogether. Either I'll have to fight that troll, or I'll it all together. Flipender! Expelliarmus! Good friend! Flipender! Send him!
That's all the hall clumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. This must be Sorona's box of letters. I should take this box. I think that's everything. Sorona will be glad to. Again. Can't thank you enough for helping to save the village from those trolls. Hello, Sorona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hawk lumps for her Wigamel potion, and I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. I wondered about some of the letters in the box. Of course. It appears most of the letters were from fellow students. I saw a letter from someone named Mirabel. Is that Professor Garlic? It is. Still one of my dearest friends. I know she wouldn't mind you having seen that letter. She and I are of a similar mind. Especially when it comes to young people. We believe experience to be an invaluable teacher. To borrow a phrase from Mirabel, it's a joy to see anyone blossom, but particularly one who doubted they ever would. I spotted a letter from you to Mrs. Sprottle. You two seem to have a lot of fun together. <laughs> we do. <laughs> she taught me so much during my summers with her and Aiden. I shall be the first to admit that adolescents aren't always the easiest to understand. And not everyone was as kind to me as the Sprottles. But the depth of their kindness, and that of so many of my friends, got me through, well, got me through some challenging times, to put it mildly. One of the letters mentions Quidditch practice. Did you play? I did. I was the Ravenclaw Seeker for three years. Oh, Merlin's beard, I adore Quidditch. Nothing like the feeling of catching the golden snitch when your team's down by 140 points. I'll never forgive Professor Black for cancelling it this year. I miss cheering for Ravenclaw. We could have cheered them on together. I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her. And for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories. <laughs>